of Americans are living their retirement dreams not at home, but on the warm, sunny beaches of Mexico. Yes, Mexico. And despite growing drug violence in many parts of the country, many expats say Puerto Vallarta is just heaven for them. Rafael Romo tells us why. Here we are. A toast with friends sitting by the pool in the backyard and enjoying unbeatable weather. And to get over to Cancun. It's the life Sarah Wise dreamed of, a life she found abroad. There's a lots and lots of people who have done it, and everybody likes it. The 63-year-old and her 70-year-old husband, Mike Wise, are both American retirees from Fridgen, Minnesota. They have been enjoying the warm weather and beaches of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico for more than six years. Sarah organizes activities for expats as a hobby. We have lots of friends in our expats group that we get together and we have happy hours. We have wine and appetizers. We have coffees at, at, in different neighborhoods and we get together at different restaurants. Medical care is another factor they considered when they decided to move here. And the uh, accessibility to the doctors is something that we just never experienced in the U.S. And from what we understand, it's, it's getting more difficult, not less. Many doctors and dentist offices cater to foreign clientele. As you can see, their signs are in English and their staff is fully bilingual. Medical care here in Puerto Vallarta and in general in Mexico is much more affordable than in the United States. A doctor's visit is only about $40. No matter what they do, $40 per visit, and you can get in to see them the very same day you need them. Um, it's, it's very convenient in a lot of ways. Very high quality lifestyle. Mike Altman, a 68-year-old retiree from California, says affordability goes well beyond just medical care. We have an ocean view, uh, 3,000 square foot condominium uh, that I can afford on my Social Security. How's that? According to officials, the expat community here in Puerto Vallarta, composed mainly of Americans and Canadians, is about 35,000 strong. That number continues to grow in spite of safety concerns. Drug violence in Mexico has made headlines around the world in recent years. The tourism secretary of Jalisco State, where Vallarta is located, was gunned down last year. But these expats say their little corner of paradise has largely remained untouched and have never felt unsafe. We're here for good. Rafael Romo, CNN. He'll probably take us out in a jar of ashes. <laughs> Puerto Vallarta, Mexico.